Hello ladies and gents, thank you very much for checking out our Stoke Park Country Club golf page. Now, I'm on the seventh tee here at Stoke Park. There's 27 holes on offer in total. We're playing holes one to 18 today, and a seventh hole here, pure golf fans might recognize to a certain degree because this hole inspired one of the most famous holes in golf. <laughs> Founded in 1908, Stoke Park was one of the first golf developments in England that mirrored the classic American country club model. And while the club boasted no less than 45 holes designed by the legendary Harry Colt as early as 1922, only 18 remained by the end of the Second World War. There are many standout holes at this iconic club located in leafy Buckinghamshire. One of them though, the signature par 3 7th, served as the blueprint for none other than the 16th hole at Augusta National. As the scene of some of golf's most iconic moments, including Jack Nicklaus knocking it stiff in 1986 during his back nine charge, and Tiger Woods' 2005 chip-in, not to mention Tiger also almost holing out from the tee en route to his 15th major championship in 2019, that is quite the claim to fame. Let's take a closer look at what you can expect on your next visit to Stoke Park. Right, so today it's measuring 177 yards off the white tees. You can see the yellows and red further forward, giving us lots of options in terms of the total length of the hole. Uh, pin is cut front left, um, a little bit like I think the Saturday pin at Augusta. Uh, slightly into the breeze, I've got a six iron, and this is really just a do or die hole. Like if I don't hit a quality iron shot here, I'm either in the drink short right, and if I get it up on that slope on the left of the green, having played here quite a few times in my youth, I used to live just down the road, um, there's no chance in hell I'm getting up and down. So quality iron shot, absolutely essential. Six iron, 177 yards. Let's see how we get on. Now just left of the pin. Nope, that is... Oh no, I'm in trouble. That's up on the slope just left of the green actually. So yeah, as I said, I don't think I'll be getting that one up and down. I'll show you what I mean when we get up to the green. So guys, now that we're down by the green, anyone who keeps a keen eye on the Masters each and every year will probably recognize the fact that this looks so reminiscent to the 16th Augusta National, but it's pretty much a mirror image. So the water at Augusta National starts short right at the green and then kind of cuts diagonally up towards the back left of the hole, whereas the water here is very much the opposite. But you can totally see the fact that this was the inspiration for that iconic hole. Personally, that's one of my favorite holes at Augusta National. The probably the best spot on the course to get a spectator's viewpoint from. And this is where it all stemmed from. If that's not reason enough to come and visit Stoke Park, I don't know what is. But uh, having said that, just like Augusta National, the greens here at Stoke Park are kind of scarily quick at times. So let's go and find my ball, which as I said, I hit a little bit left of the green onto the slope. And I don't think it's in a pretty spot. And I'll go and show you exactly what I mean about not fancying my chances of getting up and down. Right guys, as you can see, I've come up left of the green actually by four or five yards at least. Um, avoided some bunkers, but chipping down this slope onto a green that runs from here straight towards that water. And as I said, just like at Augusta National, the greens here at Stoke Park can be a bit slippery. So um, yeah, S chances of stopping this on the green, pretty slim. Like I said, chance of getting up and down, even slimmer. Right guys, that's pretty much as close as I can hit that ball from where I was, pretty sure, uh, without hitting the pin and stopping it. So local tip for anyone coming down to Stoke Park to enjoy this amazing golf course, if you're on the seventh hole, do not miss it left. Having said that, you can't really afford to miss it right either. Tough hole. But that's 
that's how you make a three from left of the green. Right guys, completely unexpected par for me here on number seven at Stoke Park. Um, just like this hole, the other par threes throughout the 27 holes here at Stoke Park are unbelievably spectacular. The fours and fives aren't bad either. And the clubhouse, well, more on that later, but the clubhouse is pretty special too. So guys and girls, as well as world-class holes like the par 3 7th and many, many more here at Stoke Park. Remember, as I said, there are 27 in total, designed by some of the most famous names in golf. There's also that, the Stoke Park Clubhouse, made famous in various films such as Goldfinger, James Bond, Bridget Jones' Diary, and Layer Cake with Daniel Craig. I can promise you the interior is equally as impressive as the exterior. I probably won't have time to show you around this evening. I've got about four more holes to go on the golf course. The sun is starting to go down as you can see behind me, but I promise you I've grown up in this area and that clubhouse is one of the most amazing complexes I've ever seen in golf. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for checking out our Stoke Park page as I said earlier in the video. If you want any more information, definitely just scroll down. Loads of offers down there, loads more information. And yes, uh, if you want to book a break here at Stoke Park, just get in touch. Bye.